Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining camshafts and how you can increase horsepower uh, with the camshaft swap, basic valve train uh, swap, and use different camshaft uh, features in order to create more horsepower. So uh, basically what I'm going to talk about are what I'm going to call the three highs of camshafts. High lift, high duration, and high RPM. So uh, each one of these helps increase horsepower, so let's explain how. And it does this through increasing the amount of airflow that you have basically at high RPMs. What you're trying to do is optimize airflow with your camshafts. Now with a stock engine, you're going to have your camshafts optimized for that stock engine. But when you change out uh, certain components and you're trying to increase horsepower, something you want to consider is changing out the camshaft so you can take advantage of all the additional features you put in uh, and, and have better airflow and create more power. So, first of all, if you haven't watched my video on Kerr Engines or my video on DOHC versus SOHC versus OHV, um, those would be a great place to start. I'll include uh, links in the description. Um, and then, so basically what we've got going on here is, here's our camshaft rotating in this direction. As it rotates, this lobe lifts up this rocker arm, and when it pushes up that rocker arm, it pushes down here on the valve spring, and that valve spring opens up, allowing air to come in. So one thing that you can do in order to push that valve down further um, and allow more air to flow in is have a higher lift. So if we had our camshaft here, everything that you see in pink, um, and then we swapped it out with one that had a cam lobe like this, you could see that if the cam lobe was larger, as we've got here, when it got to this point, it would push this up more, and it would push, so that would therefore push down this valve more. So the valve would come down more, allowing a, a greater area for air to flow in. And so at higher RPMs, when your air is, is one of the, airflow is one of the biggest problems, getting enough air in in a short amount of time that you have to do it, um, something like this can allow for more air to come in. Now, another thing you can do is change how long that valve is open. So that's high duration. So if you've got the, uh, camshaft here, and then the blue lobe uh, is, is the one with uh, the stock duration, we'll say. Um, so you can see that the valve is going to be opened from when the camshaft hits first, uh, starts lifting this rocker arm uh, right here along this line, and then it's going to be open until right here. So I've got these arrows drawn backwards, no big deal, but point is, um, depending on which direction this is rotating, you're going to have the valve open from there to there. Now this is a bit of an exaggeration, it's going to be a little more narrow, uh, and when you increase it, it's not going to be quite as dramatic here. But basically what we've got here is, um, we've swapped out our, our camshaft, and now we've got the purple uh, is going to be our new camshaft, and as you can see, it's open from here to here. So from here to here, you can have air flowing in or flowing out. These can be done for both uh, intake and exhaust, and should be. Uh, you can have it open from there to there and have that much time, that much more time, to allow more air to come in. Now the problem you can run into with having extremely high durations is you can have some overlap between your intake and exhaust, and then have some uh, bad directional flow and, and air going in uh, areas it shouldn't be, air fuel going out exhaust or exhaust going in the intake. Stuff like that. But basically, increase the duration, you allow more airflow, uh, and it can increase horsepower. Now, by doing this, you may also be able to increase uh, to a higher RPM. So if your engine, say, revs to 6,000 RPM, um, and you've done plenty of different swaps to allow for yourself to then increase that RPM, uh, the engine is capable of doing it, it's strong enough to do it, uh, you've got the fuel for it, and you've swapped out your camshaft so that you can rev higher. So, so basically before you couldn't do this because you wouldn't have had good enough airflow above 6,000 RPM. But now that you've put in this camshaft with high lift, high duration, at high RPMs, you're going to have more airflow. And so with better airflow at high RPMs, you increase your revs for more power. Well, the very simple equation, if you haven't watched my video on horsepower versus torque, horsepower is equal to torque times RPM divided by 5252. So if you've got like I said, a 6,000 uh, RPM uh, rev limit, then you have 50 pound-feet of torque. This is just an example. Say your car makes 50 pound-feet of torque. Multiply that by 6,000 divided by 5252, and your car is creating 57 horsepower at its peak. Now, if you take the same car and you say the torque remains constant the whole way up because of these fantastic camshafts, 
then it revs to 7,000 RPM. Well, 50 times 7,000 divided by 5252, 67 horsepower. So you've increased your horsepower by 10. Um, now, obviously, that doesn't sound that big, but in, in comparison to how low of horsepower this vehicle is, I mean, that's pretty significant. Uh, somewhere around like 15% or more, maybe. So uh, it, changing out your camshaft can, can really cause uh, a dramatic increase with the amount of airflow you can have, more air in your engine, burn more fuel, and also rev to a higher limit. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.